Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back sharing with you what I have picked up Pete for her Christmas stocking this year. I cannot believe that it's the time of year where we're all thinking and buying and getting ready for Christmas because I have been doing this for like throughout the whole year and I'm so excited that I can finally share with you things that I've picked up. Not like it's anything groundbreaking and anything that's really like fancy. I know that a lot of people go and put quite a lot of expensive presents in stockings which is just not how I do it for me. Our stockings are always like bubble bath, a couple of bath toys, some little snacks, maybe one DVD if you're lucky because obviously DVDs are quite cheap now. But I feel like a lot of people are putting in really expensive presents but that's just not how we do it. So this is just going to be sharing with you basic things that is going to be in pea stocking. This is what pea stocking looks like. This is from mother care we got it when she was born so 2015 although they always do these and just sort of redo the designs which i just love them anyway it's a really good size um you can really fill it up you've got a robin a little penguin and father christmas that says ho 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 you've got the little white ends of the sock there and then you've also got the really pretty white trim as well i don't know the fabric it's not like velvet but it's also not like felt it's just really soft and lovely i think this was maybe £10 but I know Neil got um I think he got 20% off when he got it and he actually brought it before Christmas so I'm just going to show you things that I've picked up I've actually got quite a lot this year for stocking because it's I think it's easier to do now she's older I can just buy loads of little bits that I think she'll play with and if she does great if she doesn't she doesn't so a lot of these things I think you would have already seen from my Sainsbury's toy sale haul because I've shown it all before but I'm just going to do a recap. So she's got these two little dinosaurs which have got wheels, you can just push them along the floor. We've got laminate flooring throughout our whole front room and hallway so I think these will be good for her just to play with. Also a really good toy I can just throw in my bag and keep her quiet so when we're eating lunch and she can just push this along the table. I think the blue one is a Diplodocus, I'm not 100% sure and then I've just got this one which I haven't got a clue what it is. You know what, this might be a Diplodocus. That's the only one I know in a T-Rex, but I know this one isn't a T-Rex. Um, but I just think they're quite cute, and these were £1.37 each. I know she didn't need both, but she's got both of them. Also from Sainsbury's, I picked up a bottle of bubbles. I got these before the toy sale because they didn't actually have any in my Sainsbury's. These were only 50p, and let me just say, the Sainsbury's bubbles are the best. They just go for weeks and months. I've still got some that we used last year. Um, but yeah, for 50p a pack of bubbles, you really just can't go wrong with some bubbles at bath time and stuff like that. So we've got those. Then I got her a couple of bath toys because after a while, bath toys just go really manky and I don't know if yours do but mine go slightly mouldy they're just not nice things to have so I tend to get her new things sort of every year um I say every year this is only going to be her third Christmas <laughs> um but I got two little things from Sainsbury's again I also want to quickly apologize about the lighting the sun is just not on my side today um so we've got a little jet ski which I thought was quite cool she could put something on there and pretend that it's going for a little ride and then she's got like a little little green boat these were one pound each just good staples to have almost dropped it and then i got a little blue dolphin last year she got the little yellow duck and she loves it doesn't work very well in the bath but she still enjoys playing with it in and out of the bath so we got a little silly swimmers and this was i think this was a pound as well Pushed it up and it's little tail flaps so i like that and then from poundland for her bubble bath i picked up this pepper pig multiple foam soap she started to really recognize pepper pig even though it burns my soul because we don't really watch pepper in my house um it's still cute when she ever sees pepper and she like snorts um but she also loves i've got the um imperial leather one that you squirt and it comes out like gel and then you rub it up and it comes into foam so i got her own little version for a pound i thought it'd be good good fun for her to play in the bath so i got that from home bargains i got her a little wash mitt because she doesn't actually have one we currently use a shower lily um it's all right but she tries to eat it and i use it as well so i just nah like stick to your own so i got her a little teddy bear so it's like a little puppet bath glove this was 89p or 99p i just think it's going to be good just to lather and wash as we go so she's got that also from home bargains i picked up a little pepper cutlery set it's just got a spoon and a fork um again it's just novelty and it's just really cheap which is why i got it it was 49p um but i'm just ready to get rid of her nubby baby spoons now she's two so i think 
this is like a little bit bigger and she can properly like get a nice spoonful rather than have to do it loads and loads of times. So we got that. I don't know if you can see but it's also got Pepper and George at the top. There. Also from Home Bargains I picked up this pencil case. This was 59p or 79p I can't remember because I got it so long ago um, but it's fluffy and it's got like little swirls and it's got a little zip because she doesn't actually have a pencil case so I thought this would be really good to have for her then to go with her pencil case we have got some Crayola 24 colouring pencils she's actually had this packet she managed to get them from behind the cot which is where she kept where I keep them and she ripped the tag off which annoys me but it's having kids for you isn't it um these were in the sale i got these from aldi and they were originally 2 99 and i got them for £1.69 which isn't too bad for crayons i also got her some crayons those were from aldi these were from b&m and these are only a pound for 24 i just thought they were really good to have i'm really trying to get her onto colouring which is why i've sort of gone down with the arts and crafts theme this year because from two to three if you're not aware p's birthday is in november so i feel like from November and December to get loads of stuff to then have to wait a whole year I sort of buy things that she can get into throughout the year um, and then I also picked up some safety scissors now these are from QD which is someone that I never go we've got three different designs so you've got blue green and purple you've got a straight one and then you've got ones that do two different like shapes when you cut so I thought they were good and they were only a pound. Last thing from Sainsbury's is this little bottle. This was only one pound. Um, she got a dolly for her birthday. She's also got a baby but she doesn't really play with that. But I just thought a little bottle that she can tilt upside down and the milk goes for a pound. Again, it's a good little thing. I remember I used to love playing with mine. She's actually got one already in pink. Um, but you know me and my collective personality, you just got to have both in both colours. I've got two little books which she really doesn't need but I went a little bit crazy and brought the whole collection and just decided to get them all so we've got creepy cobwebs which is orange and then we've got busy 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 which is yellow um these were both one pound obviously from Poundland they're just good little board books good to have in the car they're ones that I don't really mind if they get a little bit tatty um because I am quite funny about my books but they just seem really good um, and she enjoys the ones that she's got so she's got those two she's got some plasticine now I've tried her on play-doh and she's definitely not ready for it yet I might give her some for Christmas and just see how she goes but I've got her some plasticine again she'll probably try to eat it so she won't use it for a while but I thought for a pound doesn't matter if it gets all smushed up or whatever I can play with it she can tell me what she wants me to make even though she doesn't speak um, so we've got purple red yellow white black blue green and orange two little um sets of doggies um because she doesn't really have many figures that she can hold again it's something that we can just throw in the bag you can have in the car they're only technically 50p each so it doesn't really matter if they get lost even though it would be destroyed if they got lost two which aren't the best they are quite tacky but what do you expect from poundland and then we've got these two as well they were the best out of a bad bunch and then i got some play money for her she does actually have like coins that neil gives her but I just, I don't know, it just doesn't sit right with me at the moment. She's a little bit too small. So I've got her some plastic money, like 10 piece, 1 piece, 50 piece, blah, blah, blah. And then she's got some notes, which I don't think I'm going to give her yet because she'll just rip them in half or colour on them and do God knows what. It doesn't matter because they're only a pound, but it's just the principle of ruining things. Um, so yeah, she's just got a little bit of play money as well. And then finally, I have got her a DVD and I picked this up from Poundland. Um, I couldn't believe that I actually found a Disney DVD in Poundland and this is Homeward Bound. She loves cats, she loves dogs. I love this. This is a massive classic for me and I just think it's such a lovely story for her just to sit and watch and just have one in the background. I can't guarantee she's going to sit down and watch the whole thing because I know she won't. But I just think she'll really like seeing the cat and just pointing at it on the telly and stuff. So, yeah, we've got Homeward Bound. That is everything that P has got in her stocking. I'm still yet to buy sort of like the foodie items. She will not be having any chocolate because it's just not something that I give her yet. She's only just turned two and I don't think she needs it. She's going to have the rest of her life to eat chocolate. So, I think some people might think I'm a little bit... OTT and controlling not letting her have chocolate it just doesn't sit right with me so I'm gonna get her some of those yo-yo bear fruit paws which she absolutely loves I'll probably get one of each flavor I think there's four um, which are like strawberry and I think it's mango I can't really remember and then I'll also get her 
probably some like organic gingerbread or something that I got last year because she really enjoyed those. That's everything that P has got in her stocking. Leave me a comment letting me know what you do for your stockings. I'm really interested to see how diverse it is. I also want to know whether you call... I call him Father Christmas, whether you call him Father Christmas or whether you call him Santa Claus. I feel like in this day and age, everyone calls him Santa and for me, growing up, it's always been Father Christmas because that is just what he is. He's Father Christmas. It's Christmas time. He's not Santa or Santa Claus. I feel like that's American, but it's now come over here. And when I watched the M&S Christmas advert, I absolutely loved it. But Paddington Bear would not call him Santa. He would have called him Father Christmas. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you put in your stockings, how you do your Christmas. I'm really, really interested to know. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.